Hi, everyone. I am back. I am Kiri Little, the designated managing broker of Caremark Realty Group here in Illinois, like the West Chicago area, St. Charles area. And I also am the host of Coffee with Carrie on Instagram every Friday, every Friday at 9 a.m. unless I'm in class. So today I want to talk to you about your value. You've seen it. The market is shifting. The news is talking about different loans. We're talking about different loans. We're looking at data. The, you know, we're seeing inventory is still low, but interest rates have gone up. It's changed affordability. So as a real estate agent, you need to know your value. So grab your pencil or your pen and write these things down. Not a perfect list, but a good list to help you get started, especially if you're a new real estate agent. Now, number one, you need to know your neighborhood. What do you know about your neighborhood? Where I grew up, I know every street, I know every block, I knew, <clears throat> and, and you know, you know, I knew where every park was, the swimming pool, I knew what was happening in the community. You've got to know your neighborhood. I knew, you know, where the bus stops, I knew what transportation was in the area, probably because I grew up there and I knew I could ride the bike to the Brookfield Zoo. So you need to know your neighborhoods and the little hidden secrets or the hidden gems. Because even where I live, you know, we might have people that have horse property. We might have people that raise their own chickens, but you might simply just go down one of the busy streets, you know, make a quick turn and you have a townhouse subdivision or a condo building. So you need to know your neighborhoods. Number two, you, what are the upcoming events in your community? Have you ever even gone to those events? You need to know what's happening. You know, you need to look at data. I'm going to say every week, but if I could convince you to look at data at least monthly, you're doing better than most. And you need to learn how to explain the data. You need to learn how to explain it. Number four, set up alerts in Google, google.com slash alerts, and then have these alerts like put in the name of your city, what's new in the city. You need to know what's changing in the communities you live in. For example, everything impacts real estate. You know, um, are there pre-foreclosures? Are there foreclosures in your city? Now, you could probably find that out on the tools you use when you become a real estate agent um, and when you become a member. Um, but you need to know if a business closed. Like we had General Mills and it closed. Now, we drove by, we knew it closed, but wouldn't it be cool to get the updates before it happened? And we knew because we could no longer smell, you know, like the cinnamon toast crunch. Right. So you need to know what's happening. Everything impacts the market. I would still watch the news. Some people are like, nope. Um, so you need to know when businesses are opening, businesses are closing. Are you getting the new big new companies? Are you getting a new Walmart? Are you getting a new Walmart center where they're going to have a um, the place where they're going to ship from, right? The hub. So you need to know because you might have new jobs. You might be able to talk about this on your social media. Number five, have a conversation around real estate with your friends, your family, so you can kind of practice having the conversation. And number six, when I say you need to know your value, if you're like, Carrie, this feels like a lot already, you need to write a checklist for all of your processes. Even if you're like, you can always update them. So when you go out to talk to a seller or a buyer, you need to know what does that process look like? And it's okay to update and change. Nothing has to be perfect. And you need to have good follow-up skills. So those are some things you need to, you know, to know to um, explain your value and then you need, you know, what, what makes you different from other real estate agents? Now, I don't have to say, because my husband's a real estate agent, this is what makes me different from Mark. But I can say, this is what makes me stand out as a real estate professional. I've been in the business since 97. I work for a builder. I work for one of the largest commercial real estate companies in the world. Um, I can talk about the franchise process. Like, what can you do that's different than other real estate professionals? All right. So thanks for joining me for another episode for Learn to Earn with me. If you do ever have questions, type them in the feed here on YouTube. And if you are interested, I have your first six weeks in real estate. It is totally built out. You might want to invest so you can get a jump start on your business. Thanks for watching.